Hi, I'm Dr. Stuart Goldman, and I'm a staff psychiatrist at Children's Hospital Boston. I'm going to be talking a little bit about anxiety disorders. Anxiety disorders are the most common psychiatric disorders in childhood. Worrying or anxiety is part of all of our lives. It keeps us alive. We need to know when we're standing on the edge of a cliff that it's a bad idea to jump off, or that if a bear is chasing us in the woods, we better run. The dilemma for people with anxiety disorders is they feel like the bear in the woods is present every place they go in their lives. One of the things that we're concerned about with anxiety disorders are these deep midline central structures that tell us about how to process the sensory information that we're getting. Our eyes, our ears, our nose all sort of come in to the center here and this part of your brain begins to say should we amplify it or should we turn it down. Now the brain has a, some self-correcting mechanisms that are there so our frontal lobes that are in the part here, this part of the brain, sort of can tell the mid part of your brain, turn it down or turn it off. At Children's Hospital, we want to use treatments that are what we call evidence-based. And cognitive behavior therapy is the primary way of providing psychotherapy. We treat the cognitions, those are the thoughts, and we treat the behaviors, those are the things that we're doing in a therapeutically integrated kind of way. And what we really do is we change out of the ordinary worrying into ordinary worrying, and we help kids do that over a period of time. Good care for children with anxiety always is a combination of psychotherapy, which sometimes can be used standalone, and medication. But medication for anxiety should never be used as a standalone intervention. We have to be very mindful of that as we offer kids the kind of integrated whole care that we do at Children's Hospital Boston.